Hi everybody, it's Katie. I'm 32 weeks and two days today, and I am hiding out in my bathroom after my shower to try to record this because my in-laws are in town. I actually did record my pregnancy vlog before they arrived, but I was just having like an off day and the words just weren't coming and it was too long and blah, blah, blah. I just wasn't happy with any of that footage, so I'm gonna try again. This week I've been feeling a lot of just mix of emotions. Um, sort of the sadness of the pregnancy starting to wind down and you know I could have six, eight, maybe ten weeks left but um, really that's that's nothing you know um, and I love being pregnant and I know I'm gonna miss it um, but then on the other hand of course I have all the excitement and the joy that's building to, to finally meet this new person so um, physically this has been a little bit more difficult of a week I think that the baby has had a growth spurt which is really good especially since I had those concerns before about you know the baby possibly being small and all that stuff um so that's good the extra weight is definitely weighing on me more i'm getting more tired um sleeping is a lot harder i think ideally i would like to structure my day so that i am um, i get like a two hour nap every six hours just spaced through the day i think that would be perfect because i've hit the point where you know i'm exhausted at the end of the day and i can't wait to go to bed but at the same time i'm like dreading trying to get comfortable for eight hours um, and you know I just am getting sore in my hips and my knees and that kind of stuff. I'm getting up to pee about four times so I'm just just very restless I'm just you know at that point. I know in the grand scheme of things I really don't have much to complain about. Um, I have a first cousin who is due with her first child um, about a week before me and last week she got put on bed rest for um, preterm labor. So I know that I could be in a completely different position. Things could be much more difficult. Those of you who are having um, twin pregnancies, you know, have been feeling some of the discomforts I'm just getting to now. You've been feeling them for a week. So I'm, I know that really um, things are pretty good. But I do feel like I'm like dragging a bowling ball around my waist. And, you know, I feel it more just in my feet. Luckily, so far I haven't had much swelling. Um, still got the sciatica um, issues um, and my feet ache definitely at the end of the day but I'm not having swelling which I think is good. The baby is super active and strong. I'm definitely having more Braxton Hicks um, but I'm having a hard time differentiating when it's like an actual Braxton Hicks and when it's not just like the little Hulk pushing from all sides at the same time um, because this baby is super strong. Um, I'm starting to get even where like the sharp you know jabs from Elbows and knees and stuff are actually kind of painful. I'm just, just so strong and running out of room. Alice has also, for the past couple of weeks, been moving more into like a, a phase of development where she's really focusing on gross motor skills again and really been even more active than usual. Um, she was in like sort of a fine motor phase for a while and she was doing lots of art projects and fine motor sort of, you know, pom-pom sorting and that kind of stuff and was really content with those type of activities. And right now I can just tell that she's, you know, kids go through phases where they work on different skill sets. And right now she is, um, she's just needing to go to the playground every day, needing to get a lot of physical activity and jumping and climbing and running. So it's getting a little bit harder to keep up with her. Um, but it's all right. It's starting to cool down. I can deal. Before I really start really slowing down as the pregnancy gets even further along, Mike and I have been focusing on a lot of nesting projects. My in-laws visit was sort of the, the precursor to um, really get on top of some of the projects we've been putting off. And we spent two weekends now really just tackling a lot of organization and decluttering projects, um, you know, donating stuff and just reorganizing spaces. And I feel really good about that stuff. Um, I also, we reorganized Alice's room and I shifted all of her clothes in the dresser and made room to put all the newborn stuff in you know, one of the drawers. Really the only other major thing along those lines I need to work on is uh, her diapers. I need to like strip and sun her diapers and get them packed away and then bring in the newborn diapers. Um, but really for all the major things we're not, you know, we weren't planning to do any major house projects really. So the things that we've been able to attend to um, are, are pretty much done. You know, the, the major things are done. Um, so I feel really good about that. And going forward, I'm hoping to just spend my time really just relaxing, having fun as a family, spending time, special time with Alice, and um, hopefully being able to do a little bit of crafty stuff, creative things, um, and just kind of like nurture 
you know, nurture that part of myself. Um, things like Alice's Halloween costume. I know these things are like really expendable. So if we run out of time or other things present themselves, um, Alice will be perfectly happy wearing like a white sheet with, you know, holes for eyes and being a little ghost. It's, it's really not a big deal. But pretty much I'm just taking any motivation that I get and just tackling any kind of project just as I, as I feel like it, even though if it, it might not make like the most logical sense at this point. I'm starting to try to put a little bit of attention towards Christmas gifts, so that's something I don't have to stress about later. One change I made this week is that I started taking um, this like strong dose of, it's not acidophilus, it's lactobacillus, it's a probiotic called femdophilus. And this is something that um, Crystal, Mrs. Fine Fettel, took in her pregnancy as well. Um, I, talked, I talked to my midwife about it, and um, so I'm doing this a month before I plan to take the groupie strep test, and then I will continue it, um, even if I'm negative, I will continue it through, you know, until I deliver. This is just a high dose of probiotics that are supposed to really target sort of the female system, um, you know, your vaginal flora and stuff. So again, that's, that's the only change I've really made this week. My goal for the week has just been to have fun and stay positive and enjoy my in-laws visit. Um, they have made it clear that they are not comfortable with our home birth plans. And um, if, a, you know, if we have a conversation about that, if they bring it up, um, you know, and we can have a constructive kind of dialogue about it, I'm totally willing to do that. But I just don't feel like it's, um, that's not my mission. That's not my purpose. Um, really, it's, you know, it's something for me and Mike to decide. And I just am really focused on kind of preserving the, the positive energy we have in our house now um, and just you know staying in that comfortable spot where we are and um, hopefully everything will be cool that way um, so far so good we're having a good time the best thing about this week is that we have gotten a lot of love from our neighbors recently we do live in a neighborhood we really like um, but people kind of lay low during the summer because it's so hot so you just don't see people a whole lot so it's been several months since we've you know kind of run into certain people um, but in the past week one of our neighbor's um, daughters, so her granddaughter, um, we inherited a bunch of left of uh, leftovers, hand-me-downs, hand-me-down clothes um, that will fit Alice for at least the next few months, um, probably into next year since Alice is so skinny. Um, but we got two huge garbage bags full of 2T, 24-month and 2T girls' clothes that'll totally carry her through winter. We don't budget a lot for clothes, so it's super, super helpful, and it was totally out of the blue. Um, just to have something like that. So again, it just gives us less to worry about, um, less to have to plan to purchase this fall and winter. Um, also, one of our neighbors has um, some apple trees and she gave us a bunch of apples. And then another neighbor um, has a peach tree and fresh, like ripe organic peaches are to me like just a divine thing. Um, so she's been giving us peaches and I've been such a happy camper. Um, but all of this, sort of generosity has just really made me, um, you know, look for ways that I can give back more. I think in pregnancy, I tend to be really inwardly focused and just um, kind of, you know, focused on our family and focused on, on myself and, and the growth sort of, you know, within me, but not putting so much attention um, and energy out into what's beyond that. And so I think this is really a good opportunity for me to look for, um, ways to do that more and just um, just change my focus a little bit and just really seek out those ways to give back a little bit more. Um, I did make my, my grandmother's apple cake um, to give to all the neighbors that have you know recently done stuff for us. Um, but beyond that, there's just, there's more I wanna do and it's nice. Um, I like feeling that kind of impulse. I am squeezed into my last non-maternity shirt I can get away with, which is actually sort of inappropriate. I probably shouldn't be wearing it, but I am. And apparently, from people's comments last week, it is not at all strange to have a line with one pregnancy and not with another. So it looks like I might not get one with this pregnancy, even though I did with Alice. Thank you all for watching and following me all the way to eight months.